Hello, uh, I recently realised that I've had my CD player now for around about 10 years. So I, I thought it'd be a good idea to mark the occasion and, and, and do a, a video dedicated to it. And um, yeah, I'm just showing the CD player here. It's uh, made by name. It's uh, a CD5X CD player. Um, no, this is, or oh, at the time would have been like around about the entry level CD player that they made. There was a CD5i, um, that was available, but this is a CD5X. The next one up from this would have been a CDX2. Then, uh, a the next one up from that would have been a CDS3. And then the top of the range at the time was a CD555. So this is um, the CD5X. And yeah, it's um, a couple of the things with the features on it. Yes, there are, there are DIN connectors at the back. And uh, I'm sure a lot of name users will, will be very familiar with the, the DIN connectivity but on this there is the option to connect via RCA uh, phone row because there are outputs on the, uh, the back for RCA so it's, it's possible to uh, connect the CD player to uh, a non-name amplifier then. Um, the one of the things I wanted to show then was the actual CD tray. So, which I'll just show you as best as I can. There's the outside of the CD tray and I'll just kind of sort of demonstrate then how I, I sort of load a CD into it. It's all very manual. You notice there's like a, a handle here. So what I do, I simply open the CD drawer opens very smoothly there's a puck in the middle there which is this I just take the puck off I get a CD put the CD in position put the puck back on close the CD draw and it's, it's as simple as that and I you know I've got really used to using that type of, of mechanism it it certainly feels uh, very durable and, and, and robust and you know I, I use it with a, a, a great deal of confidence um, and, you know, the CD player has been totally reliable in the time that I've had it it's been uh, I've used it really you know very 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 frequently um, it gets used a lot and yeah, it certainly f seems very well made and appears to be very durable. I'm sure it's going to provide me with uh, a lot of service up for, for many years ahead. Um, I do like the finish of it as well. And um, there we are. I, 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 you know, a couple of the things like the, 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 the technical specification of it then. Um, and the, the CD transport, I mean, I don't know what... what the, the actual sort of like the thinking was behind doing a, a, a sort of like a transport like that but could it be then that it's kind of isolating it then uh, from other parts of the player then because it's a it, it, it's not a mechanical or motorized draw um, and maybe it, it does probably help with the overall uh, performance then of the to uh, of, of the CD player, I, I'm not so sure. I, you know, I have to look into that. But it, it it's uh, certainly very very functional. I really like it. It's a uh, an excellent CD player. Um, the transport assembly is is a Philips VAM one two o two. 
uh, and digital to analog converter is done by a dual mono 24-bit Burr Brown chip. Um, and, and this was like the first entry level name player then to get uh, a Pacific Microsonics digital filter. So it, it, it can play uh, HD CDs which is quite useful because uh, I managed to buy some CDs not knowing that they were HD CD and um, when I put the CD in the drawer and started to play the CD it actually displayed HD CD on the front of the uh, digital display there and sound quality is very good indeed. So I mean I've you know there's uh, I I've got also a flat cap two X power supply so I've uh, the flat cap two X power supply is also made by name and what this has enabled me to do is to connect my CD player to the flat cap the flat cap also provides a power supply to my name. 122x preamp so the idea behind connecting the cd player to the flat cap then is that uh, the flat cap is powering the analog output stages um so the the which leaves then the internal power supply then of uh, the cd5x to continue to power the, the, the transport and the, the digital electronics. So the, the sort of the, the analog output stage then is then taken care of by the, the flat cap 2X. And I really believe that it's uh, in my experience then the, the flat cap 2X is, is certainly being very well worth it. Um, and having that in the system as well. So that's basically it really for now. I just thought I'd uh, do a, a video just to show uh, the CD5X, which I've had for now approximately 10 years. So thanks again for watching the video. Bye-bye.